But this is it. This is my moment. This is my moment in the, in the dank basement to, <laughs> to let my freak flag fly and let my colors shine. This is like my rock star moment. This is where I own this shit and just, nah, here it comes. Just, I'm just going to put my leg up here like a cool gym teacher. Just like, yeah, we're just going to roll. But uh, I, I, have that, I have that tendency to, to mythologize people and to, and to build people up and to think that I can live this amazing life sometimes. But I realize now that rock star is just a state of mind. It's just the things you do that make you a rock star in the temporary moments of your life. And if you string enough of them together, then you have an impressive story to tell. And I actually remember someone, I, I witnessed it happen once and it was beautiful. It was this, it was at Comic-Con, of course, where all dreams take flight. And I was at Comic-Con and it was a few years ago, and they had a Guitar Hero Championship. And what a Guitar Hero Championship is, is a stage no bigger than this. But in the back is about like eight or nine 12 year old kids. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna play Guitar Hero in front of a live audience. And they're gonna be graded A on how well they do in the game, and B for style and finesse. So the kids knowing this took all the extra steps. They all dressed up as their favorite rock stars. There's a little kid dressed like Slash. There's a kid with really crappy kiss makeup. It's adorable. And they're all gonna play Guitar Hero. And I'm like, I'll watch this. This seems like a stupid way to kill a couple minutes. And the first kid comes up, and he's not dressed really impressively in any kind of major way. He's, he's just in like, you know, a button-up shirt, ripped jeans, you know, baseball cap. But then he starts to play the song that he chose. And what he chose to play was Killing in the Name of by Rage Against the Machine. And that's when I realized that this kid did dress up. This kid is a note-for-note, -note, pitch-perfect Tom Morello. Now, if you don't know anything about Rage Against the Machine, Tom Morello is their lead guitarist, and he is a very technically proficient and very, very direct and hardcore guitarist. Like, every note is just hitting blasting really heavy riffs, and this kid is doing every single stage move, spinning, just clickety-click-clacking with his clickety-clickety-clack fingers, smacking that little plastic tin whammy bar, just going to town. Again, not a real guitar, but he is owning it like it is. The crowd loves this kid. They're, they're on their feet, they're chanting, they're singing along. And if you don't know the, how that song ends, Killing the Name of ends with a refrain of, fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. And they say that about 50 times. Again, 12-year-old kid in a crowd of people screaming at this 12-year-old kid, Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. And he is wailing it, stomping the stage. They finally get to the last notes. He takes off the guitar and smashes it. I'll repeat, not a Gibson Les Paul, not a Fender Stratocaster, this is cheap Taiwanese plastic. It explodes into a million pieces, cascading the front row. The crowd goes ape shit. This is the greatest thing they've ever seen. But there are some people who are upset. Namely the other kids waiting to do the contest and the judges because that was not his guitar. It was the contest guitar. They only had one. The contest is over, and he wins by default. That is a rock star moment. Oh.